you guys here to help. Listen, this is an important week. We brought him back. Jim Frisling, of course, we brought him back. President of New Old Capital. Ready, rock and roll, babe? Absolutely. I got a couple interesting questions I want to ask you. Also, Hillary Kramer, see. My only concern what you said was that the European banks are going to eat all the, of the debt. The fact is, the European taxpayers uh, own a great deal of this debt through the ECB, through the IMF, uh, and whatnot. So the fact is, um, Germany and others are going to take a very hard stance on Greece, very resolute, A, because they don't want contagion. They don't want Ireland and Portugal and others to say, if you're so willing to renegotiate right. with Greece. Italy would be Next, it'll, it'll be what happens. So they're going to be very firm on this, and I and I hope and expect Greece, despite getting into office with certain promises, are going to have to find a middle ground here. So I I hope and expect. Jim, when you say that the Europeans, uh, the taxpayers there, uh, own the debt, the ECB debt. So does that mean Americans own the Fed's debt? All that those three trillion dollars of toxic crap. <laughs> the that Fed absolutely own. We, the so taxpayer, no, the taxpayer. People taxpayer, watching this show own that. The taxpayer. They didn't park it in a Yucca Mountain somewhere that uh, it just you know rot for. We, for we, we own. We as taxpayers own our our, our debt. Just as the Europeans own their respective So we debt. took the risk, but we get none of the reward, essentially, is what you're saying. Uh, under that scenario, I have to agree with you. Yes. What do you think, Matt? Jim, I want to ask you, can we take some solace in those em employment agency companies last week being higher? Could that be a sign? Because, you know, listen, the market's supposed to be sort of a harbinger of things to come. Uh, well, yes and no. I mean, the permanent temporary worker is the concept and a position that's now actually being solidified. And you can see it in the uptake of some of these employment agencies. The fact is, these guys are very important right now because they are providing staffing to what I would call non-core, but still important parts of business, the accounting functions, the IT functions, the, 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 the functions that a lot of companies want to outsource, and they're doing it through temporary employees. So the fact is, it is good for the temporary, it's good for the employment agencies, but it is, I think, a, a, maybe a blow to the full-time employment that people would like. Like to see. Real quick, I got to oh, send, send these companies to the public. Here's the thing, Jim. Even the CEO of Box had ridiculed companies a year ago that went public and their stocks like doubled. He said, You guys are dumb. You left money on the table. Listen, I'm proud of the guy. He's a young kid, 30 years old, and he's doing this thing. But in, is there any word of caution that we should share with the audience? Yes, we should. I think when we start using metrics that have, don't have to do with revenues, don't have to do with profitability, when we're saying things like, well, I, eyeballs count. Like eyeballs I, and Eyeballs count. Yeah. And okay. clicks count. I think that does remind me of the 2000. We started to value companies based on things that actually may not materialize yeah, into real value. Yeah, but look at Facebook. Jim, if they do want to buy it, what's the strategy? Okay, I want to own Snapchat. I want to own Spotify. Do I buy it the first day of trading and hope I get a good price or what? Uh, I mean, I think the problem right now, if the answer is if you can buy it at the open or something close to the open, I do think there is such a momentum. You put momentum, a limit order in. I put a limit order in. Otherwise, I'd like to see, you could have bought Facebook, for example, since we just talked about it, much cheaper on the pullback. <laughs> sure. Much right. cheaper on the pullback than you did trying to chase that thing. So do it with a stop order. And, and just so they eat better than I, I do. I'm conflicted on Matt's pick, not because I'm an owner of that company, but because I spend more money on, on that company. So we spend more money on our dog food than we do on yeah. our own groceries. Agreed. Same. <laughs> Uh, Chevron, 4% dividend the last time they had it uh, was with the startup financial crisis, underlevel balance sheet, ample cash. Unless you believe oil is going to much lower than this, I think it's a very good long-term play. I like this because, you know what, two years from now, you'll be able to say, I made your money in a dividend and we doubled yes, your money on the there. stock. All right, endings, yeah, I think. I want to separate the two. On, on Charles, to your point, we're creating a cash flow or almost trust funds uh, for, for generations of people who haven't learned yet how to deal with the cash, haven't learned how to deal with this money. And to a certain extent, I think it's thwarting their efforts to even get to work and start you know, taking care of themselves. Right. Uh, the issue of whether casinos are good for communities, uh, I'm, I'm to a certain extent against it. Unless there's a crowded airport or entertainment or crowded hotels, I think it's bad for the community. But the point about people getting this free money, I think it sets a very bad precedent for their future. So, Well, I will be laying off a lot of people. Maybe not 26% of their workforce, but a lot of people. Uh, I, I take the layoffs more to heart, and this is not the only company right now that's talking about sizable layoffs. U.S. Steel, uh, to, to, to name another. Uh, the fact is, uh, when we talk about uh, increasing uh, wages and the need to uh, re re reduce the inequality gap, the fact is, increasing wages are one of the challenges that a lot of these businesses face. So automation and shifting things to computers or outsourcing, as we talked about, you know, the, the temporary, uh, the right. permanent temporary employee, are always companies can, can, can reduce their costs. IBM laying off, to me, shows that they're, they're disorganized right now. They are disorganized. Here's the thing. No, I like the tailwinds for the industry. I also think specifically uh, these guys have expanded their leasing business where they're getting a lot of their margins. They also have a number of joint ventures where they're actually getting involved with companies that are making the axles and some of the products that actually feed into this, uh, in, into the cars. So, no, I, I like it a lot. You see, Jim did his work, okay? That's the difference here, Hillary. Jim did the work and you didn't. That's all I'm saying. All right, thanks. Yeah, strong dollars, 2015. Uh, uh, that's 
uh, going to be the uh, excuse strong weather. Yeah, actually, those the, the win, actually thus far we've had a fairly mild winter, and this storm already appears maybe to be overblown. So the answer, I, I do not think it's going to have a big impact. Maybe a little boost to things like Hess, maybe to the energy right. companies, but no, really. All right, so let's mild. talk about that thing. What about you, Jim? Uh, no, I'm really not. I mean, other than maybe, again, look at this energy, uh, I, I, like a Hess, as I just mentioned. You don't mess uh, with the gimmicky no, stuff. I do not think so. Yeah. Microsoft has had an amazing rally, a lot of it a stealth rally, uh, and, I, and, you know, does it, can it, can it, you know, continue to perform like that? You think I, this turns around? I think it continues to perform. I think we're holding the companies right now to a very high, uh, high place. When they meet expectations, that's not going to be good enough. Yeah. The stock well, is off a couple have percent. Some, we may have some. Everybody's so Jim, over. Jim, moves the market? Not sure if it was on the list, but I'm going with earnings. There's a lot coming Apple? out. Apple, 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 Apple. Apple, Apple, Apple. 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 Apple.